Today's question comes from Kunal Pradhan, and I'm from Eastern Kentucky, so I apologize that I'm horrible uh, with, uh, with names sometimes. The question is, Google crawls site A every hour and site B once in a day. Site B writes an article. Site A copies it, changing the timestamp. Site A gets crawled first by Googlebot, whose content is original in Google's eyes and will rank highly. And if it's A, then how does that do justice to Site B? So I could get into a lot of really interesting, stu interesting stuff about how to crawl the web. You know, if you really want to know uh, about a signal, the Nyquist rate says you want to sample at two times that frequency. Uh, but the fact is you can always change a web page. So the whole idea, the conception of being able to crawl the entire web and having a perfect copy at every instant is a little bit flawed because at any time we can only go and fetch a certain finite number of pages. If we tried to fetch them all and our architecture could almost support that, then the web might crash from all of those requests. And we try to crawl in a relatively polite way. We also try to prioritize based on things like the page rank of a particular page or maybe uh, you know a site might have a lot of page rank. So the question is essentially if, if A is getting crawled a lot but the original article starts on B, what if A rips off B? Well, there are ways that you can help to guard against that. So, for example, uh, you know, if you do a tweet, people will see it, people may link to it, uh, and we may follow those links faster than we'll discover it on the other site. Another thing that you can do is you can hook up, you know, things like PubSub Hubbub, which will ping various places. Uh, there is a very limited amount in which we will use PubSub Hubbub to help improve our crawl, and that might change over time. And that's a great way to sort of asynchronously say, hey, there's a new article or there's a new blog post. But let's go ahead and play with this hypothetical scenario. If A has copied your article and changed the timestamp, that's a little bit deceptive. You know, it's as if they are claiming that they have written it. So you can do a couple things. Number one, if you are the author of that article, you can always do what's known as a Digital Millennium Copyright Act uh, sort of notice, where you send in this DMCA request, and you can find the information at google.com slash dmca.html. And basically what you're saying is this co site copied me, but I'm the original author. So this site can either counter notify, which means they dispute that. They say, I wrote this page, which has some penalties to it if they're lying. Or they can not dispute it, and this stuff disappears off of the other site. So if someone's ripping you off, you can always do a DMCA notice. Um, you can also, for example, if it's an auto-generated site and they're ripping off or scraping a bunch of people, you can also do a spam report because that's not a high quality site. That's not the sort of thing that we want to have within our index. Um, but let's just play it all the way out to the corner case. It is in theory possible that we will find an article on one site before we find it on the other site. And so, you know, it is definitely the case that we try hard to find out who's the original creator of a particular piece of content, but I wouldn't claim that we're perfect. We do as much as I can think of to try to figure out what are the ways that people uh, you know, can, can indicate that they wrote the content. And in fact, in Google News, we just in, uh, introduced a couple new tags, almost as an experiment to see how well it works, to sort of say, here's the original author of this content. Um, so there are approaches that we're exploring to sort of figure out if there are other ways to do that. But at least for the time being, in theory, it is possible to have an article. In practice, it tends to not happen that often. And you do have ways that you can get around that or ways that you can take action from a DMCA request all the way up to a spam report. Hope that helps.